Hi friends, it's Sherry, and I am here to talk about a new Bible story for us today. So, this one I want you to think about. You might remember it. I'm pretty sure you'll remember this one because it's so unusual, all right? So part of this story is God asks us to do surprising things, and he has surprising ways of asking us. And for this person, God said, take off your shoes. You are standing on holy ground. So should we act this out? Okay, everybody take off your shoes, right? Take off your shoes. Here we go. I'll even take off my shoes. I'm taking off my shoes. Here's my shoes. I did it. I did it. You can visualize me standing here barefoot, right? Okay. So take off your shoes. Do some of you now remember who did this? Who was in this story? God spoke to this person through a burning bush. Mm, now you got it. Moses, right? It was Moses. And the holy ground, meaning that God had actually touched that holy ground. So it was holy. And as respect they would remove their shoes, just like we've removed our shoes. All right. Um, let's read the story, The Burning Bush. It's on page 72, out of your Spark Story Bible, that is published by Augsburg Fortress, right? So remember, God speaks to Moses. Now remember Moses? It's the same baby Moses that we talked about before in a different lesson. The you know, God had big plans for Moses. So he saved his life with his, you know, he used his sister, Miriam, and his mother helped, and Pharaoh's daughter. So this guy, God wanted to use him in many ways. So here we go, the burning bush. Can you see that good enough? I gotta get it up high. The burning bush. Moses was watching his sheep in the hot, dry desert. Suddenly he saw a very strange sight. Flames of fire came out from a bush, but the bush did not burn up. Moses squinted his eyes. He looked around the bush one way. He looked around the bush the other way. Moses, Moses, said a loud voice. Moses was scared. Here I am, he said. <clears throat> Take off your shoes, the voice thundered. The place where you are standing is holy ground. Moses kicked off his sandals, keeping his eyes on the flaming bush. I am the God of your fathers, the voice said. Moses hid his face. He was afraid to look at God. I have heard my people crying in Egypt, God said. My people are hurting and I have come to save them. Wow, Moses, thought Moses. How will God do this? Go, said God. I am sending you to Pharaoh to ask him to let my people go. Me, said Moses. Who am I to go to Pharaoh? Who am I to lead your people? He threw himself onto the ground before God but he kept one eye on the burning bush. I will be with you, God said. Oh, Moses trusted God. He was willing to do everything God said. God gave Moses the words and the power that he needed to talk to Pharaoh and lead the people out of Egypt. A burning bush talking to you. It's an amazing story. There's a lot of amazing stories in this Bible. Thank goodness somebody kept all of that, all of everything, and they wrote it down for us so we can remember it. What a gift. Um, there are a bunch of questions that you guys can discuss um, about the story, like what did God want Moses to do? Well, number one was like, what? Take off your shoes. And then he was supposed to go and see Pharaoh, right? 
and there's some more questions and there's some awesome um, family conversation starters for you too that you guys can discuss and and have a good time together and then there is a closing prayer and I would like to say that with you so let's do the prayer together before you move on to the next thing all right all right well let's close our eyes and fold our hands so we're not distracted right all right here we go God we thank you for calling us to do the things to help you and each other in this world give us good courage and confidence when you ask us to do something that seems impossible. Amen. Enjoy your time together.